On the 11th of March 2011, Japan experienced its worst nuclear disaster in living memory. The coastal flooding from a tsunami took out the generators used to keep the nuclear fuel rods cool. The power plant started overheating to the point that eventually caused parts to explode and started melting. The Fukushima power station was damaged forever. Nuclear radiation and runoff spewed into the environment. Traces of nuclear poison were noticed five days later over 65 kilometers from the power station. 1,700 people died and over 10,000 were reported missing. This begs the question, could the same happen in Cape Town with our Kuburg power station? And if so, what areas would be affected and could we evacuate in time? What would happen if this occurred during the month of October? To answer this, we need to combine GIS analysis and weather information in the form of a few scenarios. For standard evacuation procedures, ESCOM has identified a 5 km precautionary action zone and 16 km urgent protection zone as a radius distance from the power station. The northeast and southeast sectors are listed by ESCOM as critical zones for evacuation purposes. Evacuated times for these are quoted as 4 hours for the 5 km radius and 26 hours for the 16 km radius. But is that fast enough and will the people of nearby Milneton, Bloberg and Malkbos have enough time to evacuate? Suppose the wind blows from the southwest at 20 km an hour during October as defined in ESCOM's measured weather records. Now let's transpose the weather in a geospatial way onto our evacuation map. We see that for these weather conditions it will cause a polluted particle of air to be transported 20 km in one hour. This means that all life within 20 km northeast of the site will be in danger. Furthermore, downwind people within the 5 km precautionary action zone will be contaminated within the 15 minutes. Yet according to ESCOM, people in these zones need only to evacuate entirely in 4 hours. This is considerably longer than the 15 minute dispersal estimate seen on our GIS output. Using the same wind information, a similar estimate resulted in a downwind exposure time of 2 hours for a distance of 40 kilometers from the source of the nuclear fallout. This too is considerably longer than the 26 hours estimated by ESCOM for the 16 kilometer northeast zone. From this brief GIS analysis, it would appear folk living and working in the areas surrounding do have reason to be concerned about their ability to evacuate from Kuburg power station should an unfortunate accident such as Fukushima in Japan occur here. Given our stable geological locality, this is less likely to happen here and we hope and trust it will never.